Hey Julie. Hi Julie. Hey Julie. Hey Julie, it's this guy. Hey Julie, uh, it's Josh. Um, gosh, I, I don't know too much about what you're going through right now, but um, I'm rooting for you, I'm praying for you, and I love you, and gosh, you're just one of the best people that I have ever known. I really don't really know where to start here. I said our relationship started when you first came to Resurrection, and it's been a lot of years since then, a lot of ministry. Um, I just want to thank you because of anybody that I've ever had in my life, you've shown me what living by faith is. I am just so thankful uh, for everything you've done for me. Um, after all these years, you welcomed me when I was a scared middle schooler and made Res Life uh, a second home to me when I really needed it. And just the way you loved on me and mentored me and um, pushed me in my walk with God is something that has truly made an impact on who I am today and made an impact on the way I live my life and what I want to do with the rest of my life. And so I'm just so thankful um, for all the times you've been there for me. Um, whenever I've struggled and whenever I whenever I've needed someone to look up to. Um, I just love your compassion and your fearlessness and the way you are just so courageous and uh, are so strong in your identity with Christ. It really um, inspires me and um, empowers me to be a better person and uh, in the way I live my life. So just thank you for all you've done um, for me and for um, the entire Res Life community are just such an inspiration and we love you so much. Um, I think it's easy to say you have faith, I can say I have faith, but to actually live it and really own it every day, I just, I thank you for that because you've shown me how to do it and I really didn't know if it was possible to do it or not. So I appreciate you, thanks for your ministry, um, I love you think of anything deep or meaningful to say. I just want you to know that I love you and I know people that love you and everyone loves you and you're just so positive that you can't help but have a great impact on people. Um, I'm bummed that I don't get to see you this summer. I'm going to be doing the Res Life intern thing so I'm really excited about that. Bummed that I can't see you but we'll see each other soon um, and whenever I do any sort of speaking in front of people this this uh, summer, I don't think I'm going to take my shoes off because my feet are gross. Um, not like yours. Yours are nice. And just, I wish you could be here to be in the other room to see just the joy that is in people and the, sh the, share the stories that are being shared. Because I think that's such a reflection of you in the community that you've built here and just the love that you show for people. Hey, Julie. I, uh, just wanted to say thank you. You have taught me so much in life and in ministry. When I think about ministry, um, you have taught me about international missions. You have kind of shown me how to love people in other countries beautifully, how to establish partnerships. And Julie, those first couple of Honduras trips when I went with you and saw those people greet you by name and hug you and almost have tears in my eyes when they saw you again, uh, I was just so impressed with the ministry you do. It's something people here would never see, but I saw how much you love serving God's people in other countries. Hey Julie, it's me. Um, just wanted to say that um, that I love you and that it has been a privilege and an honor to um, to know you as a person and you've been kind of a, a mama to me for a lot of years and um, we've done a lot of life together and um, I want you to know that um, that I'm going to count it all joy and that's going to be what I continue to do in life and um, anyway I'm not, I'm not good at this stuff. So I just want you to know that, um, that I, love, I love you and I love you more. Julie, I just want you to know that it takes a village to raise our kids and our family is extremely blessed to know that, or to have you be a part of our village. We love you. I just have so many great memories of rooming with you and just your, your heart for people. Um, I was chuckling earlier to myself about when we did the surveys together and you had one team and I was on another team and how our team was racing and hoping they get the most surveys and how your team was so great about taking their time and really connecting with the people and as my team was ribbing your team that you know we were ahead and we were winning that you just kept repeating you know it's about the experience it's about the people it's about um, connecting with them 
And I, I chuckled because you had just given us these great instructions on don't accept anything from anyone, don't eat anything. And you guys were the first team to eat like a little frozen fruit thing. And, and of course you didn't get sick because God took care of it. He knew that, that you were honoring that family and, and showing them how much it meant to be a part of their family and a part of their house. And I just love you. And I know that I'll see you again. And um, I just am so grateful for you. And I'm not taking off my shoes. I hope that I can give messages the way you do because you're just a really inspiring speaker. And I love you. Thank you so much, Julie. We love you. Julie, your heart for seeing our students grow in ministry through MacTrack has been unbelievable. Um, please know that um, there are so many students who will do ministry all over this state, this area, this country, the world, because you have helped them to recognize they are called by God to share God's word. And thank you so much for every single student you poured into here who will do ministry in God's name and who will continue to carry the torch of ministry that you brought to their lives or you help the Holy Spirit fan the flame up. Hi Julie, I love that I get to talk about you because you're one of my favorite people to talk about. Um, I want to be able to tell you that one thing I learned from you is how to do one-on-one -on -one ministry. You have taught me so much about how to love people and care for others and be able to meet them where they are. And so I love you so much. I love all the ways that You've inspired me as a student and as an employee and as a friend, so I love you so much. You, you've impacted my life so much, I can't even put into words. When I came in to Mac Track at, at six, in sixth grade, I would guess I was kind of having trouble making friends because I'm a little loud and kind of obnoxious, I guess. <laughs> but um, when I got to, when I walked in that door of the cabin at the Mac Track retreat, the first words I ever heard from any Mac Track student or teacher was, um, hi, welcome to Mac Track, we're so glad you're here. And that might sound like it's not that big of a deal, but you'll never know how much like that meant to me, because nobody, nobody really ever said that before. Um, then, um, then you kind of proceeded to teach me, and you saw something in me that I didn't even see. You kind of showed me how good I could be at something that I didn't know existed. Hey Julie, just wanted to let you know that you're stinking awesome and we love you. Hey Julie, I just wanted to uh, say that uh, we miss you around the office. Deborah and I miss you coming in and having our deep conversations. Um, I miss you coming in and saving every bug and spider that is crawling along the floor. And I think there might still be a couple tucked inside my calendar if you want to uh, come and save them real quick. Julie, I'm Carol Matthews, Sean's mom, and just wanted to say thank you for making CORE a place where a unique kid like Sean can feel comfortable and loved and explore his faith. So I just want to say thanks, love you, God bless. Thank you for being an inspiration to our generation. You're very relaxed, but very thoughtful. I'm praying for you. Hi Julie, my name is Lauren Golick and I'm going into 10th grade and I really want to just thank you for all you have done for us here. You are such an inspiration and it really means a lot to me. Um, there's a, a saying I've heard that your spirit lives forever and it, your body's just like a vessel for that and I don't think I realized how true that really was until I met you. It doesn't matter how the cancer's affected you, your spirit still shines so bright. Hey Julie, um, just, I just want to say thank you for being such a big part of my life, my faith journey. And uh, I love you, and the church loves you, and just thank you. Hi Julie, it's Daryl, and uh, gosh, my heart and my thoughts have been with you. Kind of been there, done that, not exactly the same way that you're going through it, but uh, kind of close. And um, wouldn't wish it on anybody, and uh, yet have just admired so much the spirit and the faith with which you have met this sad development and uh, glad that we all trust that uh, as sad as these things are they're not the end of anything they're just the beginning of the next chapter so uh, wish you well and praying for you every single day Bible verse here that my uh, 
sister gave to me um, for confirmation, and uh, I thought I'd just share it with you. It says, uh, Fear not, for I am with you. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And it's Isaiah 41 10. I think you've definitely shown me how true this quote is as well because I've seen how God has strengthened you spiritually and uphold you with his righteous right hand and it's such a beautiful thing to watch and I thank you for all you've done. Um, I just want you to know we're thinking of you and we're all praying for you. Hey Julie, I just wanted to stop in and say hi. I was just thinking about you and remembering the fantastic time we had on that trip to South Africa. Oh my gosh, I laughed so hard. It was so great being with you, sharing a room with you, being with the kids. I have such fond memories and just really learned a lot from you as a leader and how awesome you are with those kids. Maybe stinking awesome. I'm sure you've heard that plenty of times. But I just wanted to give you my love, let you know that I continue to pray for you and your family. You will always, always be in my heart. Love you. You know, I remember when I knew that uh, we'd always be soul sisters. I knew the moment that, I, that you were just going to be my friend forever. And that's when we were in Haiti a few years ago. And uh, we'd be laying in bed just chatting late into the night. And, um, and those were really great conversations. Conversations that sometimes happen after you've had a long day, you've seen so many things. Um, comes straight from the heart. I think the biggest impact that I've seen with Julie uh, has not been directly from her but has been through uh, her daughter Aquarius and the uh, journey that Aquarius has been on and I've witnessed that because she's been a volunteer of mine uh, in the sound booth for quite some time and you know I always see Aquarius happy and excited to be there and more so what I find interesting is that at a girl her age she will be, they'll be reading scripture and Aquarius will finish the scripture before it next comes on the screen. Which means to me that obviously Julie is, you know, teaching her and training her up uh, in her faith at home. And uh, she'll come to me and she'll say, this is my life verse, what's your life verse? And that's really inspiring. And as, as Julie and I don't have a whole lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one interaction, I see her shine through in in her daughter and uh, that's that's just really inspiring hey it's Allie uh, I miss you a ton I miss your smile every time I came to church I remember when I came to rest the first time and I was feeling so scared and out of place and you did like a talk and a lesson and I remember laughing a lot and like smiling and you like really made my day and I remember thinking like is this how church always is? Because if it is, I want to keep coming. Julie, you are probably one of the most inspiring people I have ever met. You have taken me through a path of me starting out questioning faith to a person who is all aboard being a some kind of leader in a church. You have probably said some of the most uplifting things I've ever heard. Like when we were talking after my grandmother's death, you told me that you definitely think I could be a pastor. And that is probably one of the most affirming things I have ever heard from a person. You have told me stories and shared experiences with me that have set me up for life. You have, again, like I said, reaffirmed my faith and inspired me to do things that I never, I mean, even a year ago, thought that I was ever gonna do. You've allowed me to go on one of the most inspiring trips to England, and even our smaller mission trips or our smaller retreats, you always find a way to bring all of us back and become completely serious and 100% focused on why we came there. Julie, I am going to miss you if things go south, and I am always praying that things won't, but I know that God has a special place wherever you end up, especially made for you. Love you, Julie. You showed me how to, how to live my life with joy, how to, sh how to like just love God and love others. And I think you've shown that, you've shown that throughout your life, and that's just been such an, like a massive. 
can't talk today. Um, just it just shed off on me how how great and how how much love you've shown to everyone you've ever met. And uh, I love you. And um, whether God takes you through this and He pulls you out, or um, you don't make it through it, I know that I'll see you again and that we'll either be together in heaven or be together at Mac Track. I love you, Julie. Thank you very much. It was you that really got me to be more involved and in how I really found my place. And I'm so grateful and I, I miss your presence a lot. And I miss laughing and seeing the room light up when you walked in and I miss you a ton. I, Sometimes I'm at a loss for words, and this is one of the times. I just want you to know that you're loved so much. Um, you mean so much to people, and your legacy is going to live beyond any of us ever will. You have just an amazing way of making people feel so special and loved. Uh, the energy that you have, we need to bottle this, and, and I know that so many people would um, welcome that type of attitude and uh, loving spirit that we all need in our lives. So I just wanted to tell you that I love you and I can't wait to give you a hug and uh, look forward to just being able to continue our fellowship. Take care, my friend. Julie, I just want to say that I'm so grateful for everything that you've done for me in my life, um, from being just an incredible mentor uh, to really teaching me what it's like to do ministry with students uh, and with my peers, and uh, even more so what it really looks like to be a true follower of Christ. Uh, thank you so much for just all of your strength through this process. Uh, continue to be strong, continue to lean into God, uh, and I know that He will still do amazing things in your life. Um, Julie, uh, I just want to say thank you for everything that you have done for me and my family, and I just am extremely blessed to have you a part of my life, and um, I don't think I'd be where I am today in this ministry without you and your 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 vigor to to teach the ministry and teach these students about how much God loves them and what they can do for the church. Um, when I met you, you had open arms and you were so inviting and I just can't believe that this is happening to you and I just feel so sad about you being, just you going through this. But I know that um, through the power of God and through the power of Jesus Christ that you will come out of this stronger and we all will come out of this stronger. And I just really thank you for everything that you've done for me and my sister and my mother and my, just my whole family. It's just really awesome. You're just an awesome person. Hi Julie, this is Jerry Jensen. I just wanted to tell you how much I am in awe of the work that you do and the love that you have and in um, what you teach children, um, teenagers, um, the staff around you. It has been a blessing for me to be a witness to what you do every day and I am blessed to have known you all the time that I've been here and I look forward to seeing you back here at church soon. Hey Julie, uh, it's Emily here. I just want to say that you are an amazing person and you do so much for not only me but everyone here at the church, young, old, and everyone in between. And we just all love you so much and I'll never forget like your personality and how happy and outgoing you are and I just love all your bare feet and that just makes me so happy and I can't wait to see you soon. Hey Julie from the hey, West Julie. family. We think you're stinking awesome. We're praying for you and your family always and we love you buttloads. I want to read from a verse, one of my favorite verses, Psalm 116. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. <clears throat> when I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. We love you. We love you. Bye-bye. I just want to say that I have learned a lot from you through this walk that you've been on. I want you to know that your family and Aquarius and um, 
just everyone around you will continue to be loved and um, we love you. Thanks for everything that you've taught us and everything you've been for us. Julie, I love you so much and I can't thank you enough for how involved you've helped me get in the church, how much you've been there for me and truly how much you've shown me what it means to not let anything get in my way. Uh, you've, you've made me realize that no matter what obstacles pop up, no matter what different thing is in front of me, that I can get through it with the positivity, with the faith, with the love that you've gotten through this. And I just, I can't thank you enough for that. I love you so much and I, I can't wait to see you soon. Julie, I um, so appreciate your friendship. For the past 10 years, we've been on staff here together and um, we, we've seen lots of people come and go. We've seen lots of uh, ministry events happen. We've seen missions, and, and you and I have also worked so beautifully together. Um, so oftentimes we knew what the other was thinking. We knew we could rely on the other. Julie, you've always had my back in ministry no matter what, and I will always be grateful for that. Um, one of the reasons that I'm here is because you believed in, in me in ministry to bring me in and then to allow me to um, help to be in the roles I'm in now. Um, Julie, you have been a friend. You've been a, a mentor. You have been a, a co-laborer in Christ. And um, I am so deeply thankful for all you've shown me and all you've taught me. Julie, I know you know it, but I want to say it to you. Um, I love you, and the good works that you have begun here will be continued on. The lives you have changed will continue on. All that you have offered to this church and to this ministry will forever live on because you have poured yourself out here. And the last word I'll say is this, Julie, I have never known a prayer warrior like you. When you said you are going to pray for somebody, you meant it, and you prayed without ceasing, and you have been a model of prayer for me. So Julie, for all the things you've given to this church, to these students, to me, I thank you, I love you, and I appreciate how you've reflected Christ. Hi Julie, this is Nick here from Nebraska, and um, <laughs> I just want to tell you hi, and then I'm thinking about you, and she's such a, you're such a prayer warrior and a faithful person to God. I want to take a moment to pray for you. Lord God, thank you so much for Julie, how she's affected our lives for the better, how she's lived out her call to love people and to love you and to inspire kids to grow up to become disciples of Jesus that they might Help transform the world for the glory of your kingdom, for the glory of your power, for the glory of what you did when you sent Jesus to save us. Lord, thank you so much for Julie and, and guide her as she struggles with this illness and guide her family as they find love and empowerment through her faith. Love you. Amen.